I said, why are musicians in underpants? They said, Sadhguru, only that sells. I said, what is this? Somebody else is determining her choice, which is not choice at all. This is a, a sure way to destroy the beauty of feminine in the world. This is a consequence of, in one way, that economic engine drives everything in the world. Before coming to, to today's um, uh, engagement, my thirteen-year-old daughter was asking me, you know, could I, could I ask a question? I'm like, sure. So <laughs> this is from her picking up okay. on, on this whole male-female um, that she is influenced by, um, given society and, and the narrative that has been played. And she said, I am curious to know, if there was one advice for the youth today, what would it be? See, gender is a personal thing. Mm -hmm. I I'm sorry, I'm putting it in a very basic way. Please. <laughs> what is in somebody's pants is not my business or your business. It is… it is okay. only relevant in a few places like bathrooms and bedrooms and somewhere. In rest of the places, your gender is irrelevant. It's a question of your competence, what you can do, what you cannot do, what you're capable of, what you're not capable of. We need to bring the world to this place that what kind of body you have is not my business. Mm -hmm. Only in bodily relationships, it matters. In rest of the time, it's not my business. For this, women also should think this way, but right now, it is… Uh, I don't know, it's a… Uh, it's a complete, uh, you know, <laughs> man's uh, dream is being played out by the women, you know? Uh, because, yes. uh, you know, like yesterday I was uh, somebody… because I was supposed to talk to some musician, and, uh, and uh, I said, okay, let me hear something, so they played a video. I'm sorry I'm using such words, but I'm… I'm saying because it… it pains me that women are being projected like this. And uh, a musician is on stage in underpants. I said, why are musicians in underpants? They said, Sadhguru, only that sells. I said, what is this? So this is horrible exploitation of the woman and women are cooperating in this. I am… she can wear what she wants, it's not my business. But if she's wearing that only because that's what sells, that is not right in the society. It's her choice what she wants to wear. But it's not her choice, somebody else is determining her choice, which is not choice at all. So, this is important both for young boys and girls, they need to come up with this, that your body is your business, all right? It is not something that everybody needs to be involved with your body on the street. Everybody need not be involved with your body. People need to be involved with your intelligence, people need to be involved with your competence, people need to recognize your genius. Everybody on the street need not be involved with your body. Body has its purposes, body has its beauty, body has its nature. That is in a different way. I am not trying to say what should be the dress code. No, I am saying a man should not decide a woman's dress code, that's all I am saying. Right now it looks like it's man's perversion which is deciding a woman's dress code. This needs to change if women have to be free. So this is why I am saying, as from man's muscle, it is moving to a cerebral nature of activity. Similarly, from a woman's flesh, it has to move from… to a cerebral nature of activity. So right now, this may sound like a, an absurd thing, no, no, this is how women are, no, no, this is how man has expected woman to be. This is not how women are. Mm -hmm. I know enough women in my life all around me to clearly know that this is not how they are, but they think this is what is expected out of them. Is this a superwoman syndrome that they define this as, where women just want to project themselves in a certain way? No, I'm saying uh, this is a, a sure way to destroy the beauty of feminine in the world. Because right now, you understand masculine as the ideal of success. 
If you want to succeed, you have to be like a man, you have to show your muscle. This must go, because this whole thing is coming from this, the... this is a consequence of, in one way, that economic engine drives everything in the world. When economy is the only thing that matters, everything is a marketplace. Everything is about... See, mar in the marketplace, if I give less and take more, I'm smart, isn't it? Hello? If I go to a marketplace and give more and take less, I am stupid, but right now you must understand, in your homes, I am sure it's true for you also as women. I've seen women working in so many ways, my own mother, my sisters, my aunts and many, many other women that I see. Yeah, when they are at home, their whole thing is to give themselves totally because they are doing something that they love to do. They are doing things for people that matter, that what I get is not important, that's what makes their life beautiful. This should not happen just at home, this should happen in the society, that everybody is trying to do their best to everybody else. This is the nature of the feminine. Right now you are saying, wherever you go, I must give less and take more, whether it's marketplace or marriage, the same thing is happening. And nobody is happy, nobody is living well, nobody is... nobody can relax their god. All the time everybody is guarded against each other. Because every place is a marketplace, everywhere you go, you're seeing how do you can profit. No, that's not how human beings can live well. Human beings can live well. This is right now, I constantly live among volunteers who are always trying to give their best in any given situation. People ask me, Sadhguru, Sadhguru, of all the things that you do, what's the most important thing? I say, people around me. The sort of people that I've gathered around me, who are willing to give their lives away without any expectation. This is what is most beautiful about my life, because that is what is most important in the world. Every place is a marketplace means we are always trying to be... take advantage of somebody, isn't it? When your mind has become a marketplace, there will be no consciousness, there will be no finer aspects of life, there will be no room for the feminine in the world. Masculine will rule. It's all about conquest, it's all about exploitation. It's not about, uh, you know, it's not about love, it's not about inclusiveness, it's not about involvement with life. Where there is no unbridled involvement with life, there there is no life at all. Only with involvement you can know life, there is simply no other way. You, you use more? the word superwoman, I would say my mother was a superwoman. She did not earn a single rupee in her life, but she was a superwoman, she was the most respected in the family. Well, did she ever ask, what will I get? Never, but she is a superwoman.